Shalom. Call him in law. You have a bash in me. How shy? Bash in Rakakwadash. Double loves to the elves and the apostles. A great millstone who will well. Shalom to the 144,000. One third remnant men, women, and children of the whole for let. Shalom. Mr. Brother Gabari Yash coming back at you with another lesson. Through the Spanish party, how about me? I'll try to press. Let's be able to find straight to the point. So, judgment is starting to go out on these, man. Esau Edom is starting to show you his true colors, man. Okay? Because many brothers have did lesson on this, man. All right? The first one, all right, is down here with uh this E. Let's see. I don't know if they're going to show the picture or not. But, you know. Nevertheless, that's the Edomite, all right? That, uh, you know, this first one here, all right? Body parts have been found throughout Milwaukee County since the init initial discovery. It says man charged with killing this killing dismembering 19 year old woman after body parts found. Police says okay, so this happened in Milwaukee, man. It was about a week ago, you know, about a couple of weeks ago, something to that effect. Okay, I'm gonna read this. Um, I'm gonna read a little bit of this. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. It says. Maxwell Anderson, 33, who was taken into custody in, con in connection with a sever severed human leg found in a park, has been charged in connection to a woman's woman's death disappearance, and local media reported. Authorities say he has been charged with the death and disappearance of 19-year-old Sadie Robinson. Anderson killed and then dismembered Robinson with the intent to conceal her slain investigators said all right so this the first one man i don't see the picture of the chick there ain't no picture of her but nevertheless man it was a need okay so that's the first one okay let's go up here well there it is right here this chick right here i think this is her right here yeah, this is her. Yeah. Hold on. All right. This is her right here, man. All right, this Jake. All right, E. All right, the second one. Okay. The second one is right here. Let's see which one article I want to pick. I'm going to pick this one. Okay. This is a uh, law and crime, all right. This is an article from Law and Crime it says, "Man meets teenager online, murders her, and dumps her dismembered body in river." Authorities, authorities, okay. It says in a case of pretty much spanking the state of Louisiana, a man is accused of killing and dismembering a missing teen teenager whose torso was found floating in a river. Authorities said all right so this is the second one anthony pierce holland jr 29 is charged with second degree murder for allegedly taking the life of cheryl uh turner 19. cheryl was full of life and a sweetheart her twin sister sherry turner wrote in a now complete gofundme campaign to pay for the funeral she didn't bother anybody Always stay to herself, so who could to herself, so who can be so cruel? Well, Esau Edom can. Let me get a quick scripture before I continue this article. Okay, let me get a quick scripture. Let's go to Isaiah. I'm already there. Isaiah 26 and 10. This, this is what you Jakes failed to understand. This is especially what you E's failed to understand. You divestors, man. You E that love you some Edomite men. All right? We're going to talk about that in a little bit. But let's read this scripture. This is Isaiah 26 and verse 10. Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet he will not learn righteousness. These devils cannot learn righteousness. Esau Edom was created to be the wicked. Point blank, period. And you Jakes... Don't seem to understand, okay? And now you got one body trying to water down the scriptures and, you know, trying to say that the so-called white man is an Esau. Okay, you gonna look. 
Esau Edom is the damn devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Okay? And this is why we're out here. The true men of the Lord are out here warning you Israelites day in and day out, man. Y'all are not taking heed. Okay? The Bible tells you specifically, never trust thy enemy. Point blank, period. But he got a lot of our women that loves this man, puts this man on a pedestal. And this man don't give two cents some shit about y'all ass, man. Okay? This man does not care about you ease. This man, <laughs> look, y'all, y'all finna find out, okay? Cause it, look, baby, Lori, how about you? Y'all try to bring more judgments like this, so you ease can wake up and realize who your enemy is. More judgments like this gonna have to take place in order for you ease to wake up and realize who your fucking enemy is, man. It's not just you ease. You're some like women, man. You so-called Negro, Latino, Native American women, but it's also you men as well. Because you got a lot of our, uh, men that don't understand who the enemy is, man. Okay? Let's continue. Isaiah 26 and verse 10. Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet he will not learn righteousness. In the, lands, in the land of uprightness, he will deal unjustly. He will not behold the majesty of the glory. How about you, Yon Shai, man? Okay? So, this man cannot learn righteousness. And hey, she, hey, she saw, don't get a free pass either. Alright, her ass, she don't get a free pass either. She just as wicked as her counterpart. Okay? None of them do. Okay? Now, let's not forget, we do got speckled bird Israelites that are scattered amongst them, man. You got some Israelites that are scattered amongst Esau. And amongst all uh, the other nations, the heathen nations as well. So, we can't forget about that, man. But, you know, but hey, these, uh, you know... These Edomites completely, they can't be trusted, man. None of them can. Neither can, neither his uh, female counterpart, man. Okay? None of them. Let's go back to the article. Let's see. It says the killer authority said Harlan is. Let's see. Let's go down. Let's read a little bit more. Let's see. It says the... Uh, Katakahola Parish Sheriff's Department and West Monroe Police Department said that a hunter found Sherry Cheryl's Turner's torso floating in the location local Washita River on January 24th. And that was early this year. Okay? And that was about, shit, that was about almost five months ago. And we just now hearing about this? <laughs> Ain't that something? Wow. This happened about about four months ago, man. They identified the remains by using her DNA. Investigators looked back in her history. She sent a text message to her twin sisters stating that she had met someone in Washita Parish and was going to move there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dummy. Deputies wrote, Cheryl also sent a text message to a family family friend stating that she had made it to West Monroe, Louisiana, and she talked to him soon. And she will talk to him soon. Turner was from New Iberia, southeast of Lafayette, in the southern part of Louisiana. Washita Parish and the city of West Monroe are further up in the northern part of the state. Okay. Uh, Katohola Parish is closer in the middle. Through forensic data, it was later determined the victim engaged in a romantic relationship over text messages with someone from West Monroe. Police wrote from statements given by Turner's family, she left New Iberia to stay with a person she met online. Turner was last known. It's like Turner last known location was determined. Later was later determined to be a resident in West Monroe. All right. Sad, but hey, that's judgment, though, man. You just hey, you is like women. Y'all gonna learn soon, man. Okay. Y'all gonna get it real soon. Cause more of this gonna happen. 
Man, how about she on shine? A lot more of this to happen. Okay, because, hey, a lot of you, <laughs> you trust this man. Okay? And the Bible specifically tells you, never trust thy enemy. Let's read a little bit more, and I'm not going to... Let's read a little bit more, and then we're going to get to the scriptures, man. Okay? Investors gave us determined that he and Turner started a relationship through, ship through the app text now. The two planned for him to pick her up from her mother's home in New Iberia. Authorities said he allegedly picked her up on January 1st and brought her back to his Washita Parish home. But her phone stopped transmitting on January 2nd, right before midnight, investigators said. Authorities claim it had been connected to a Wi-Fi network near the defendant's apartment. Investigators said that Holland's car was on traffic camera near where Turner's remains were found and that this was four days before the discovery of the remains. It was consistent with how long her body was in the water they reportedly claimed. All right, there you go, man. So, hey, Jay killed the ass. I mean, it's not, not Jay, but this fucking Edomite killed the ass, man. <laughs> okay. Hollins allegedly told investigators he started a relationship with Turner Online. He took her to his home and killed her during a sex act. He dismembered her remains and put it in a bag before dumping those bags in a tributarian of the Washita River. As well as knife he used and all her possessions, he allegedly said. There you go, man. He the passion. Hey, this either Mike did your ass in. You in the spirit world, so you good. All right, those two E's that got dismembered, man. They good. They in the spirit world now. So, let this be a lesson to you E's, man. Okay? You E's better wake up and realize who your enemy is. Okay? Esau has the power to kill. Okay? The sword was given to him, man. Okay? Let's get a few scriptures. All right? This is Soraka Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 13. Keep me far from the man that have the power to kill. So shall not, Sonaki, so shall thou not be, let me read that again, Sonaki. Sorak Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 13. Keep thee far from the man that have the power to kill. Who has the power to kill? Who's, who is blessed with the sword? Esau, even so-called white man. And he don't use that sword in vain either. Okay? So shall thou not doubt the fear of death, and if thou come unto him, make no fault. At least he take away thy life presently. Remember that thou goest in the midst of snares, and that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city. Okay? So, look. Lord, how about she? Y'all shine ain't playing with you ease, man. You ease better wake up and realize who your enemy is. Because this devil's going to come down with great wrath because he know that he had but a short time. Okay? All right? Let's read this. This is uh, Psalm 17. And I'm going to start with, I'm going to read verse 13. That's the point. Okay. Verse 13. The point. Arise, O Lord, how about she, how I disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Who was blessed with the sword once again? Esau, Edom. Genesis 27 and verse 40. By thy sword thou shalt live. And this devil has lived by the sword, man. Okay. But this devil's got to pay for all the shit he's done. Okay? Yeah, he's going to come out the two-thirds of you Israelites, man. But at the end of the day, he's got to pay for all the wickedness he have done. All the innocent blood he has shed in this land. All right? Although those two women weren't innocent. Okay? Job 4 and 7. Let's get that. They weren't innocent. Okay? But, hey. At the end of the day, they're still Israelites, man. Hey, these devils got to pay for all the wickedness they have done. Okay? This is Job 4 and 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Verse 8. Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. Okay? 
So whatever these uh two women, these E's did in their past night, they came back and they paid for it in a horrific way. Okay? Verse nine verse nine. By the blast of Yahweh they perish, and by the breath of his nostrils are they consumed. So hey, you isn't like women, you better repent, man, and realize who your enemy is. Cause hey, the glory of about she is about to put the spirit on these devils to do you in. And then you're going to be running back to the, the same men you said you didn't need, man. Okay? The same Israelite men you said you didn't need. You said they wasn't shit. Put Esau on a pedestal and say, oh, he's the greatest. He's this. He's that. He's all these things. And look, these devils are starting to show their true colors to your asses, man. And it's going to be more of y'all. They're going to get it, man. Okay? Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 39. See now that I am I even I am here and there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So the glory how about you know, should I put those two women to death, man? Okay. So hey, that was a that's judgment. But like we said, Esau got to pay for all the wickedness and all the crimes he had done, man. It's Amos 1 and 11. Thus said the Lord, how about she out shy? For three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword. All right, not just the Israelite men, but the Israelite women as well. And did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and his kept his wrath forever. These devils have a perpetual hatred for you Israelites, man. These are, look, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, and the Shedomite, are the number one enemies of Israel. Point blank period, man. Okay? You better wake up and realize who your fucking enemy is. Because this shit is going to increase. And it's going to increase, man. Judgment is about to increase in Babylon, the great America. You're going to see more of this. Okay? Psalm 16, verse 20. He that is our power is the power of his... Of salvation and unto Yahweh the Lord and Yahweh Yahshua belong to the issues of death from death okay so hey when these spirits get turned up you Jay's gonna get it man two thirds of you wicked ass Israelites about to get it let's go here Ezekiel 9 and verse 4 and the Lord and Yahweh Yahshua said unto him go through the midst of the city through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sign, that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Okay, and that mark is the Hebrew word for wild, which means an exemption from judgment. Okay, and only the elect is going to escape the judgment of the Lord Yahabashim Yahshai. Okay, and a few sisters of the whole full length. But to you uh, wicked ass ease out there that like to talk shit to your men, say you don't need your men. All right, there was a video I watched today of how this E was talking to these two Jakes. They had her on a podcast and, you know, <laughs> boy, I tell you, I might do a lesson on that, man. But, boy, you should listen to how that E was talking to these two Jake, man, bro. I mean, but, hey, Eve hates you, Jakes, man. Okay? That goes, but, hey, Eve's about to get her judgment, though. The so-called B-dub. She's about to get exactly what's coming to her ass. Okay, all the, Latin, I mean, all the, uh, you know, the tribes, man. There's some like women. So-called Negro, Latino, Native American women, man. Okay, including the men as well. But the women, you women are going to get it just as worse. The judgment is going to be worse upon y'all, man. Because you shitting on your men. You treat your men like shit. You talked down on your men. And now this, hey, <laughs> this white man don't want nothing to do with y'all, man. Y'all in trouble. And hey, Esau knows y'all vulnerable now. And now he's about to move in and take advantage. Okay? Not applying, this don't apply to the few sisters of the whole Follet because the Lord Yahweh Shai is going to protect the few sisters of the whole Follet. But I'm talking to the majority of you two third Israelites, man. Which is all, which basically women, not all women. Well, it is all women, but you got some men in there too. Because the majority of the two third Israelites are women and men and children, which we're about to read. Let's read this Ezekiel 9, verse 5. And to the others, he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite 
Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Verse 6, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. Old men, young men, old women, young women. All right? Children. Judgment is about to come upon you wicked two-third Israelites, man. And notice it said maids and women, okay? It says women twice. The older women and the younger women. So, the morning how about Shin Yasha is not playing. Okay? But come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin in my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. Spirits created for vengeance are about to be turned up. You're going to see more of this. Let's get that. Soraka Ecclesiastes chapter 39 verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. And those two men that did that to those uh, E's, they were spirits created for vengeance. Okay? You're going to see more of that. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes by dismurdering them, dismembering their bodies. Okay? In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made it. Yahweh Shai. Okay? Verse 29. Fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and the scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. So you wicked two-thirds, you're going to get it, man. Okay? Y'all about to get it. So keep playing. But hey, hey, this lesson is about you wicked ass two thirds like women, man, that don't seem to get it. Them divestors that go to talk about how, you know, how nice Esau is. And, you know, you, hear, you, you know what I'm talking about, man. It, it's <laughs> okay. Keep dreaming. Keep thinking the so-called white man loves you, man. <laughs> hey, it's devil about to show y'all. Y'all already showing you with two. Okay, it's going to be many more. It's about to become a norm. Okay, it's 31. They shall rejoice in his commandment. Of death's angels. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when the time and when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. They're not going to transgress the words of the Lord. How about me outside? Okay. So you keep thinking this is a game. You keep thinking that the so-called white man loves you, man. Esau eat him. Let's get this scripture. I quoted it earlier. I'm going to get it. Sirach, or Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Can't trust these devils. Okay? Verse 11. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped the looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. Wickedness is not going to go away. Okay? So, you divest this women out there, man. You so-called B-dubs, man. Thinking that the so-called white man loves y'all. You're going to find out, man. You're going to find out. Let's read verse 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent, or any such as come as not come nigh wild beasts? Okay? Who's gonna pity you? No one is. Those brothers, we ain't gonna pity you. Me, I know I don't. I don't pity you. Hey, you wanna be with Esau Edom? Go ahead. Just know what you're getting yourself into. <laughs> Death. You know what they say? You lie down with dogs, you get fleas. Point blank, period. So, let's see anything else I got in here. Nope, that's pretty much it. I'm in here, man. I pray his lesson was edifying and straight to the point. So, wake up, Eve. This is the warning, okay? And we're commanded to warn you, Israelites, man. Not just the men, but you women as well, okay? To get the blood off our hands, all right? So we're commanded to warn y'all. And mostly E, you know, needs to be warned. Not saying that the Israelite men don't need to be warned either. Okay, they need to be warned too. Because, hey, Jake, Israelite, 
hey, these is like, man, they out of control too, man. But these, hey, you wicked ass women, man, you're more out of control. Everything is ass backwards here in Babylon, man. Okay? Everything. But that's all right, though. Because everything's about to be turned right side up when Jacob's trouble happened, man. Let's get this scripture and I'm going to end it off. Because Jacob's trouble is close at hand. Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he should be saved out of it. Only the elect of Israel, the few sisters of the whole elect, the Israelite men, all right, of the whole elect, are all going to be preserved and saved out of this. The rest of y'all, y'all going to get that pound of flesh, especially you Israelite women, man. You're going to get your pound of flesh. You're not going to like it, man. Okay? So with that, I'm going to end it here. I pray this lesson was edifying and straight to the point. All praises and glorifications go see how about Shmi Al Shai, by Shem Rakak with Dash, Song to the Next one, Shawam, Kwam Yashra, and Wa Baba Ma, Shawam.